Once upon a time, there were some animals who lived on a farm, and they were very, very bored. But they had heard about a place nearby that was very exciting. Where you could learn all sorts of things and have lots and lots of fun, and it was called. That's right, the library. So those animals decided to visit the library and see what they could find. The first animal to visit the library was cow. And Cal walked right up to the children's library desk, and the librarian said, "Hello, welcome to the library. What can I find for you today?" And Cal said, "Moo, moo, moo." <gasps> Did you say moo? Moo. I think I know what you mean. You must want to check out some music to listen to, or some songbooks, or even some books about famous musicians. Moo moo moo. Oh, I guess it wasn't music that fellow wanted. Maybe another patron will come along that I can help. Well, the next animal to come along was Duck, and Duck walked right up to the librarian. Hello there. What can I get for you today? And Duck went. Quack 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 quack. Oh oh, what's that? Did you say quack? Quack. Oh, I think I know what you want. You would like some quackers. You're hungry. Quack quack quack. I'm sorry, but I don't have any crackers. But we do have a snack machine in our cafe around the corner. You could get a snack there. Quack quack quack. Well, that didn't seem to be what he wanted. But I do seem to be getting some interesting visitors today. I wonder who will come next. The next animal to come was sheep, and sheep went right up to the librarian and said, "Ba ba ba." What's that? I think I know what you are saying. You are saying you want a bath. You are very dusty and dirty. You can check out many wonderful things at the library, but you cannot check out a bathtub. Ma, ma, ma. My visitors have been so interesting today. But I haven't been able to find exactly what they want. Maybe the next one will go better. And the next one to come along was a chicken, and the chicken walked right up to the children's librarian. And before the librarian could ask her what she wanted, the chicken said, "Book, book." Did I hear you right? Did you say book? Book, 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 book. You would like to check out a book? Book, 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 book. Lots of books. Oh, very well. Wait right here. I will go get some really good books for you. You know what? Come along with me and help pick them out with me. So together, the chicken and the librarian picked out a lot of great books. 
So the chicken checked out all of those books and took them home to her friends. She had a book for duck and a book for cow and a book for sheep. And she even checked out a special book for herself. Oh, and there was one more book. It was this one. Chicken had remembered that Frog never had time to come down to the library. So she brought the book over to Frog. Book! Book, book, book! Book, 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 book! And when she showed the book to Frog, Frog said, Read it. Read it. Read it. Read it. That's right. It was a good book, but Frog had already read it. That's okay. I love rereading my favorite books. Thanks, chicken. Read it. Boop, boop. Read it. Read it.
Why did the banana go to the doctor? I don't know. Why did the banana go to the doctor? Because it wasn't peeling well. What do you call a train that sneezes? I don't know. What do you call a train that sneezes? And a choo choo train. What did one plate say to the other plate? I don't know. What did one plate say to the other plate? Dinner is on me. Where do baby cats learn how to swim? I don't know. Where do baby cats learn how to swim? The kiddie pool. I am a bunny. Do you know what bunnies do? That's right. We like to hop. Hop, hop, hop. Do you know what bunnies like to eat? That's right. We like to eat carrots. But there is one thing. It is not easy being a bunny. It's not eating carrots every single day, hopping all the time, playing only with other bunnies. It gets kind of boring. So I have decided I am not going to be a bunny anymore. The only thing is, I haven't decided what I'm going to be. Maybe I will walk around and see who I can find. Oh look! I think I see someone coming along. Hoo hoo hoo! Hello. Oh hello! What are you? Me? Why? I'm a bird. What are you? Hmm. You know what? I am a bird too. Oh, you are. Do you have wings like a bird? Yeah. See, my floppy wings on my head. Well, that's different. Since you're a bird, we can do bird things together. Okay. Like what? Like fly. Just flap your wings and. You go. Come on, give it a try. Okay, let me try. <gasps> oh dear! Looks like you need to work on those wings. Goodbye. Oh. Gosh, I don't think I'm going to be a bird after all. Being a bird is too scary. But I will find something else I can be. Let's see. Oh, oh, here comes someone. Crow, crow. Oh, hello. What are you? I'm a frog. What are you? You know what? I'm a frog too. You're a frog. Your eyes are a little small for a frog. 
Nevertheless, I'm a frog. Can we do some frog things together? Perhaps you would like to hop with me. Yes, yes, I love to hop. Okay, let's hop. Say, you're a good frog hopper. Thank you. It's fun to be a frog. Now let's eat. Oh, okay. Do you have any carrots? Carrots? Mm, no, no. We're going to eat flies. Flies? Yep. Delicious, juicy flies. Flies? Yep. Are you ready to find some? No! I decided I'm not a frog after all. All right. Then I will go search for flies on my own. I am not going to be a frog because being a frog means you have to eat gross flies. There must be something else I can be. I wonder who else I will find. Look who's coming now! Hello there. Oh, hi! What are you? Me? Well, I am a moose. You're a moose? Well, you know what? I'm a moose too! You are? Well, those are the floppiest antlers I have ever seen. I know, but nevertheless, I am a moose. Can we do some moose things? I suppose we can. Let's climb to the top of a hill. Okay, I can do that. This is kind of fun. What do we do now that we are at the top of the hill? Well, we look down upon the valley and give our mighty moose call. Wow! How do we do that again? You know, mook. Mook? Yes, we say mook. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Mook. No, no, a mighty moose call is much louder than that. Try again. Mook. No, no. Get close and listen to mine. This is my mighty moose call. Moo. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay, but I decided I'm not a moose after all. Oh, okay. Well, I will go find another moose to mook with. Oh, gosh, I don't think I'm going to be a moose after all. Being a moose is too loud. It's harder than I thought to find the right kind of animal to be. Maybe this one will be just perfect. Hi, what are you? Me? Well, I am a skunk. You are? Well, guess what? I'm a skunk too. You are? Where's your stripe? Well, I don't have a stripe. Your tail is pretty small. I'm a small-tailed skunk. Well, okay, if you say so. Would you like to do some skunk things with me? Yes. What do we skunks like to do again? 
We like to smell. We do smell. Oh, that's great. I love to smell. I love to smell flowers. I love to smell raindrops. I love to smell... P.U. Are you okay there, skunk? You know what? I have decided I am not a skunk. Skunks are too stinky. All right, I don't know what I'm going to do. I like to smell flowers. I don't like to smell like that skunk. I am a quiet fellow. I don't like to yell like that moose. And I like to eat carrots. They are a lot better than flies. And although flying like a bird looks cool, I'd just as soon hop. Hey, I just decided what I'm going to be. It may not be easy, but I am going to be a bunny.